One mother's quick thinking stopped a tragedy from happening here in Prince George's County earlier today, but she says her family should have never been placed in that position in the first place. Tomasa Mejia did what she does every school day, take her kids out to their bus stop along Addison Road. My three, three boys. But just before 8 a.m., this young family found itself thrust into a frightening situation, and their home security camera caught it all on tape. Thank God, I, you know, we were all holding hands. Just as the Mejia kids were about to walk into the road to get on their bus, a driver came speeding toward them. As soon as the bus was stopping, this car was overpassing it. And they just kept going. They never stopped. The driver sped to the right to get around the bus. It's a scenario the Mejias have seen countless times. That's why they have a camera pointing at this road in the first place. Speeding access. Or trying to overpass. We checked Prince George's County Police data to see how many crashes have happened here, right next to the Pine Grove Road intersection. In a five-year span, there have been at least seven. The Mejias say a fix is needed now. Probably a speed camera, some more signs. We reached out to the county's transportation department, but I've yet to hear back. Councilmember Crystal Oriata, who represents this part of Prince George's County, did respond, however. She said she's received several complaints about traffic in this area and is working on finding an immediate solution that will ensure the safety of this community. For now, Mejia just asked drivers to slow down. These were my kids, but what if, if what if we were his, you know? She added, blessing that she was holding the hands of her children. Sometimes they like to approach the bus before it's gotten all the way to the bus stop. She said if that had happened today, this could have been a completely different story. With the very latest from Capitol Heights, John Henry, WUSA 9.